Hey, hey guys, I left when things started to get ugly, but I heard a lot of screaming and shouting from L, you guys, and all of that, and then... So, what did I miss? What happened? Oh, uh, quite a lot happened. Yeah, and I got the bruises to prove it. Alright, well, just lay it out on me. I'm all ears. Okay. Just biding my time. <sighs> hey, Bill, you found something, man. You might like want to see it. All right, boys. Uh, oh, okay. I see you boys actually did some cleaning up around here. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, that's not what. That's not really why we called you in here. Well, then what is it? <laughs> All right. Remember how you told us to keep a close eye on the whole city to see if we could find anyone else from the show that your apprentice has came from. Yes. Did you find anyone? <laughs> we didn't just like found someone. We found, like, the one person that you, that, like, you and him were talking about the other day. The sheriff? No. The, like, other one. Let me see. <laughs> oh, you boys did find her. <laughs> All right, boys. It's time for the biggest phase in our plan. The hell? I don't care. I better go let the kid know. Think of the negative thoughts. Let those thoughts consume me. Think of the negative thoughts. Let those thoughts consume me. All right, Mike. It's time to take off that thinking cap. What is it now, Bill? <laughs> oh, trust me. I've got a little surprise. And then she ran downstairs. <sighs> All right. I'm going to give her a second or two to cool off, and then I'll go talk to her. You found a member of my party? Yep. That's right, Wheeler. Okay. Wh who was it? Yeah, you're not going to be very happy with it. <sighs> it was Max, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course. Out of all the people who you could have found to bring over here to me, it's her. Yeah, sorry, Mike. I know you don't really want to see her. Not just that. I'm still worried about what, what Ellen Lucas would say if I told them my opinion on her. <laughs> yeah, I know I said that they would understand, but there's always a chance that they won't. What do I do about this? Well, Mike, if you listen to me, you won't have to worry about Max anymore. You want to know why? Why? Because we're going to get rid of her. What? Uh, uh, sorry. <coughs> uh, sorry, I don't know what... Anyway, because we're going to get rid of her. What do you mean? Get rid of her as in, like, make her leave the city and stuff? <laughs> You're cute, kid. No. I mean... Get rid of her, as in... What was that? I don't know. Well, anyway, you, you mean we... You mean you're saying we're gonna... Kill her? Don't think of it as, like, killing her. Think of it as, like, uh... Making her go to sleep forever. That's kind of the same thing. Well, if it is, then why is it worded differently? Look, Bill... You've had me do a lot of crazy things these past few days, but I, I, I just... Hey, Mike, you said it yourself. You can't fucking stand her. I, I, I know, but we're talking about murder here. and I, I can't do that. Come on, Mike. It's not like she's going to be alive forever. She's going to die eventually. Y yeah, but, uh, You know what, Mike? Just shh, be quiet. But I, I just, I don't think I can go through with what you're asking me to do, Bill. I, I, I just, I, 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 do I need to explain? Remember what she's done. She could do it all again. And you know that she could. Therefore, I think it's time. To turn out her lights. Okay, yeah, you're right. 
but I mean, like I said, I can't, I don't know if I can go through with this. I mean, this is crazy. I, I can't do that. Well, Mike, think of it like this. What if she finds you here? She'll get the wrong idea. And then she'll write you out. They'll never trust you again. But to avoid that crime is to turn out her life. It does sound like something she would do, honestly. Come on, come on, it's your one and only shot. Come on, come on, for one show or who's boss. Come on, come on, there ain't no turning back now. Come on, come on, I swear I found the car. What you got in trouble on no more? You might be right, of course I'm right. Hit it, girls. Come on, come on. of all she's done and said to you. I'm ready. Then let's go. Yes. Alright. I'm gonna go talk to her now. Hey man, can I go talk to her with you? Uh, wait, why? Well, because I barely done anything in this whole situation. I don't want to be involved. Ah, uh, come on, Kermit. Yay! Okay, man. Hey, L. L, are you in there? You in here somewhere? Nope. What about in here? She's not in there either. Maybe she's in the bathroom. Are you in there, Elle? Is it occupado? Elle? Look, it's clear. She's clearly not in here, bro. See? Not in here. All right, well, maybe she's in there. I mean, well, it's worth a try. Okay, here we are. Hold on. All right. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen this room in your house before. Yeah, we cleaned it out a little earlier this year and no one's really been in it. Elle has to be in here somewhere. Where's that meowing coming from? Uh, it's one of our cats. Elle? Elle, where are you? Are you in here? Are you over here? Or in there? Eleven! Where is she? Oh, wait. I think I see her in there. Are you in here, El? Okay. Oh, you are in here. Okay. I'm sorry that I threw Patrick. It's okay. Patrick's tough. He's survived a lot worse. Look, I know you're probably going through a lot right now. Especially now that you know what, what Hopper did. Yeah, I know. It, it really must hurt. Okay, whoever turned on the lights, thank you. Anyway, I know you really valued him like a father. He's not my father. He never was, and he sure as hell never will be. All I ever was to him was just a prize. Maybe even a replacement. If it wasn't for your friends, I would have never realized that. Besides, 
I always loved Mike more anyway. <sighs> but I'm awful at showing it. L, you... After everything him and I went through, every one of those 353 days, just to be together, I still believed everything Max said about him. I let her manipulate me, and even Mike believed it too. And now he's out there, sad, scared, and alone. I was right. Lucas was right. I really am the monster. Oh, don't say that. Monster, monster, monster! Whoa, El, El, calm down! I give up. It's hopeless. I'm never gonna find Mike. I'm never gonna see him again. I'll never be able to tell him. I'm sorry. Don't, El. I... Look, I know you're saying it's not over yet, but there's just no way out for me. Look, El, everything's gonna be alright. No, it's not. It doesn't matter how hard I try, how much I fight, I'm never going to have the perfect life I wanted. I'm always just going to be alone, hunted. I'm never going to be happy. Oh, that's not true. How do you know? You live in a world of sunshine and rainbows. I've been locked up for most of my life, and even afterwards it's been nothing but heartbreak after heartbreak. That's all that life is. You're not completely wrong. When I told you and your friends about the modern world, that is something I forgot to mention. The dark side of life. I wish it wasn't like that, but it just is. Life isn't always filled with happy endings. Positivity and negativity, well, when it comes to this world, there really is no real black and white. Yeah. You know what it really is? What? It's one big shade of gray. In the dark, kind of afraid to say. Because there's war and fighting, and the bad guy often wins. So you have to find some comfort in the smallest little things. The shouting, they're stealing their mortgages to pay. But that's a grown up thing, and you are still a kid today. The profits for society are churning for the worst. The environment just suffering. It might not be reversed, but at least the nasty kid who makes every day so rough in the end gets hit by karma with will kinda make you laugh. And sure, the future's looking pretty grim. The light on the horizon is pretty dim. But you're a kid and all of life is still ahead of you. Unlike that 90 something guy who caught the avian flu. Life ain't perfect, it's. Eh. Some bits are okay, but most of it is. Uh, life ain't perfect, it's. Meh. You gotta find the goodness in this great big load of. And yes, the more you work on it, the worse it seems to get. Looking at the news can make you break out in a sweat. But that's the way life is, so you gotta deal with it. There's not much else to say right now to lift your spirit. Because, because, if you stop halfway up the mountain, you will never see the view. When you look how far you've climbed, you'll find the courage to pull through. You wonder how on earth you can put up with all of this, then you'll come across a memory of perfect bliss. So keep following the light! No matter how much your heart aches, cause the settled world will need your hope to fix it when it breaks. And at times when you can't take it, and you want the day to end, take my hand and you will find life is beautiful, my friend. You guys are right. I shouldn't give up hope now, especially now that my powers are finally back. I 
finally feel whole again. Wait a minute. If my powers are back, then... Do you guys know what that means? You can use a back scratcher to help scratch the hard-to-reach places on your back without your hands? No, well... Okay, I mean, I guess yes, but not that. You can pull as many wild pranks as you want now, and no one will suspect a thing? No, not that either. We can finally find Mike. All right, Mike, so what is like this thing you like wanted to show me? Okay, so you know how a lot of Nickelodeon VHS tapes and DVDs have, you know, the Paramount logo on them right here, right? Yeah, what's like your point? Well... I discovered this older Nickelodeon VHS tape of Doug, and look at the logo right there. Sony Wonder. <laughs> Isn't that like the obsidiary of Sony that like distributed Sesame Street like home video for quite a long like while? Yeah, and apparently they distributed Nickelodeon home releases before Paramount did. So what's like the point of you showing me this? There's nothing much, it's just something I wanted to show you. Oh, well, it looks like Bill and the other mic is back. You really disappointed me, kid, you know that? Shut your trap! You had one stinking job, kid! You couldn't even do that! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Sorry doesn't cut it! You are going to stay in that cage until further notice! If I even see so much as a single bend on any of these bars, you're gonna fucking wish you never came in contact with me! I already do! <sighs> that whiny little shit! So, uh, do you, like, wanna talk about, like, what happened? You wanna know what happened? I'll tell you what happened! That kid is fucking worthless! All this hard work I put into, this entire week, all of it down to nothing! I'm never gonna get anywhere with that kid! <sighs> so what, are you just gonna let him go? No! You heard him earlier, he said he knows Spongebob! So I'm not letting that kid out of my goddamn sight! <sighs> I'm going to bed early, I need to think of a backup plan! Damn, he is pissed. Yeah, I wonder, like, what happened. Come on, guys. It's happening. Yeah, come on. See where this is going. Finally, we're gonna find him. All my worrying can finally stop. Let's do this thing. All right, then. Are you ready for the cell? I'm ready. All right, guys. Splendor blocky talkie on. Blindfold. Put it in. Okay, it's on. L. Please find him. I will. I'm in. Mike? 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 Mike, where are you? <laughs> Mike? Mike? It's me! Oh? Mike? You okay? Stay away from me! What? Stay away from me, Al! Please, you're not safe around me anymore! I'm too dangerous to be around, please! Just stay away! Mike, what are you talking about? I've been looking for you! We've all been looking for you! We've wasted your time! Al, I made a horrible mistake! I made a deal with someone I shouldn't have, and now... And now Max! What about Max? Oh, she's Baylor. Who are you talking to? No, 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 no. Oh, you need to run. Just stay away from me forever, please. Don't ever come near me. Like, how can I stay away from you? You're the love of my life. Well, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve your love. 
I did something terrible. Something I can't forgive myself for. Mike, I don't understand what you're talking about. Bill. He, Bill, he made me. Mike, who are you talking to? Oh, no. Oh, please. Just stay away from me. Mike. No, just stay away. Mike? Mike? Well, did you find him? I did. But when I did, he was crying. He kept going on about how I need to stay away from him. I'm not safe around him anymore. He made a terrible mistake. What happened next? Then I overheard this high-pitched voice screaming out his name, asking him who he's talking to. Who? He said his name was Bill. B B B Bill? Yeah. Right before he faded away, I caught a glimpse of him. His skin looked yellow like, like you. He was wearing a brown suit, and he had a top hat and bow tie, and... Were his pupils elongated? Y yes Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. This isn't good. Yeah, panic mode time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who the hell is Bill? His full name is Bill Cipher. Bill's really similar to the Mind Flayer. He's a reality warping dream demon that has been around for over a trillion years. He destroyed his home dimension and has wreaked havoc on a small little town in Oregon for centuries. One day, somebody, I wonder who that could be, revived him from the dead, and we've had to put up with him ever since. So you're telling us that Mike is the supernatural demon? He's been with him all this time? Looks like it, Dustin. Hold the phone. Didn't you guys said that you looked around some place called Bill's Lair, but you didn't think he was there? Uh, yeah. So you're telling me we could have found him all this time, but because you didn't think to look there, we missed him? Look, Lucas, just calm down. Don't get angry. Of course I'm gonna get angry. Michael's run under your nose this whole time, and you didn't even realize it. Well, hold on, hold on. You didn't realize it either, Lucas. Exactly. You guys obviously know this Bill guy. You know he's trouble. So why didn't you think he would kidnap Mike? How was I supposed to know? What would he want with Mike? Well, clearly something. And think about it. He's been with him for over a week. Think about all the horrible things he could have done to him. All right, look, Will, now's not the time to freak out. Of course now is the time to freak out. I will shut up! Look, we all played a part in this, right? Playing the blame game is not going to solve anything. It's just not. Think about it, guys. Mike has been your guys' paladin for years. He's picked us up when we've fallen. He made us laugh when we were sad. He always made sure of it that we had someone who was there for us. But the only person Mike's never been there for is himself. He's always been there for us. And now, it's time we finally return the favor. Fought the power! You're right. I'm not just gonna stand around here feeling sorry for myself anymore. Mike needs us. Yes. We have to give everything we can in order to save him. This is for Mike. Who's with me? We are! I am! All right, guys, let's go save Mike. All right, guys, if we're gonna get to Bill's lair to save Mike before it's too late, we're gonna need something fast. Lucky for us, behind this curtain we hide one of the fastest vehicles we've ever owned. Say hello to... The Sponge Mobile. Why does it look like you? You know, custom paint job, custom build, you know. You asked me to do it. 
Well, okay, yeah. Anyway, let's go! Okay. Is everybody in and sea belted? Yeah, we are. So are we. Well, alrighty then. Let's get this show on the road. With pleasure. We're coming for you, Mike! That's what she said! What the? Oh no. Uh, Dad, you might want to come in here! This better be important, Betty. I was trying to think of alternatives of what I can do with this Wheeler kid. Dad, they found him. What? Mike's little friends and those pathetic fivers, they found out that Mike's here. They're on their way right now. They're coming. What? Let me see this. So when he was talking to himself, he, that was really his little girlfriend. You know what? It doesn't even matter. I figured out the key to make him the proper apprentice. Rally up your sisters and the other Mike in handy, Betty. I've got something I need to take care of. Oh, and hold on to my body for a second. Ew! <laughs> Wheeler. <laughs> what the? It's time to get out, Wheeler. I have new plans. Get the fuck away from me, Bill! You're sick! 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 Oh, I'm sick, all right. But sometimes, you have to be sick to make it through this cutthroat world. See, Wheeler, I'm not angry at you anymore. I figured out your biggest hurdle into becoming my apprentice. Your humanity. What? Yeah, your humanity is getting in the way. Your empathy, your sympathy, it's all holding you back from reaching your full potential. Lucky for me, though, I know how to change that. What are you doing? Get away from me. <laughs> Bill, what are you going to do to me? Bill! <laughs> I would say this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. But that would be a lie. <laughs> Bill, get away from me. Get away from me! No! Okay, Kermit, just wait in the car. All right, guys, here we are, the location of Bill's lair. Now, as you can see, he boarded up the door because he got tired of us knocking it down a bunch of times. But what he doesn't know, there's a secret entrance out back, and that's how we're going to get in there. But before we do, we want you guys to know that... There's no predicting with Bill. We don't really know what's waiting for us down there. So things could happen that you wouldn't even begin to believe. If it means saving Mike, then it's worth it. Well, all right then. Let's go. All right, guys. Keep your eyes peeled. You never know what Bill might have in store for us. Yeah. Every time we're in here, it almost feels like a dream. Or a nightmare. Hey! What? Did you give me some help here? Mr. Scales from the 50th episode? Yeah, it's me. I let the girls escape the lair, and so Bill punished me by throwing this freezing tonic all over me, and now I can't move. You can talk. Well, I can still talk, but I can't move. Help me out here. I would, but you're still the worst. Oh, fuck you, dick cheese! Well, all right then. Where's Bill, and more importantly, Mike? I really have no idea. <laughs> like you ever would, huh? Wait, what are you guys doing here? Oh, we're just sitting back, sitting ready to enjoy the show. What show? You'll find out! Find out, like, well, when? When are we gonna- Hold on, he's coming! Who? <laughs> Well, the High Fivers, long time no see. I've been expecting you. <laughs> and I see you brought these little rascal knockoffs with you. Stop playing the games, Bill. Tell us where Mike is. And I swear to God, if you so much as even laid a finger on him, you know what I'm going to do? 
I'll cut off your nutsack and nail it to my door. Like one of those lion door knockers rich folks got. That will be your balls. Yeah, and Mike told me about Max. What did you do to her? Max? Oh, the skateboarding girl. <laughs> yeah, um, she's dead. What? <laughs> That's right. Your little friend is dead. Adios. She's finished. Done. Dead. Gonzo. <laughs> you see, my original plan was for little Mike to do the dirty deed. Unfortunately, though, however, he was too soft for the job. So I took care of it for him. <laughs> But hey, think of it like this. At least she's with her brother now. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Where's our friend? Oh, that's right. My apprentice. Well, right before you came here, he had to go through a little bit of a metamorphosis, you could say. Oh, Michael, you have company! Uh, you guys feel those giant footsteps too? Yeah. I hope that wasn't real, but I guess it is. What's happening? Where's Mike, Cypher? He's on his merry little way. 